Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain about the ETL process that happens in the data warehouse in the subject of data warehouse and data mining. Uh, so, what do you mean by ETL? ETL means extract, transform and load. Uh, I said about this concept in the previous video when I was explaining about the data warehouse components. I also mentioned that I'll be explaining about this in the next coming video. So this de this video is complete uh, in detail description about ETL. Okay, extract, transform and load. So what happens here is it collects the data from various sources, which is nothing but extract. The data is collected from various sources and then transform. That means uh, the data is transformed into a specified format and then load then the data is loaded into a uh, large database right so this happens in three phases so let us see uh, this is the overview of etl extract that means the data is collected from various sources it is transformed into a specified format and then it is loaded into the database so this is what you have to understand about etl that's all now i'm going to elaborate it and tell you see in extracting what happens is data is brought up from an external sources not an external sources not only from a single source but we collect the data from different sources okay so what happens here is first we will be connecting to an external source so we will be connecting to an external source and whatever the data is present in this external source we blindly we will not copy all the data right because we have to think whether the data is useful for us or not Right? So we have to select and collect the necessary information. That means only whatever the required information is there, we have to select that and we have to collect only the required information. And uh, that means whatever the information is required for analyzing, whatever the information is required for processing, we have to select and only that data should be extracted. Okay, not all data should be extracted now after extraction process so whatever the data is extracted so we will be extracting some data right so this data is now sent into transformation phase so now here what happens is fit the data as per standards we will be having particular standards right you cannot uh, you know present the data in whatever way you want you cannot present the data in your regular language so you will be having some standards you'll be having some size so um, it should be in this format only the size should be only up to this uh, megabytes or only up to this gigabytes you'll be having some standards right so it will be fitted into the that particular standard and in order to fit into a particular standard we will be doing some processing we will be doing some processing we will be following some steps in order to bring the data into the standard format done so this is the transformation part after transforming the data into standard, I mean into particular uh, fixed standards, what happens is then we will be loading the data. So what happens here is uh, simply we will be sending the data to data warehouse. So whatever the uh, transformed data that we are getting from this phase, that data is sent into the data warehouse. Done. So in data warehouse, the data will be stored for years and years. And then whenever we want to access to it, we can happily go there and access done so this is what happens in etl extraction transformation load the data is collected from different external sources right and uh, not just collecting we will also try to analyze the whatever the required data is there and only the important data will be collected done so after extracting we will be performing transformation that means we cannot uh, present data as we wish right we should follow some standard conventions so we will be transforming the data into those standard conventions and then we will be loading the data into data warehouse simply whatever the data we get here that we will be sending into the data warehouse and storing in the data warehouse done so this is about the etl process so this is a very short video and that's all for this video in the next video i'll be explaining about the data uh, modeling and also what are the types of data models we have in data warehouse uh, so that's all for this video guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for your friends as well apart from uh, data warehouse and data mining lectures i also made videos on inf information security operating systems web technologies managerial economics and financial analysis and also some placement related videos as well 
so i hope the video was useful for you if you have understood whatever i have explained in this video hit the like button and also share it with your friends and also comment down in the comment section what you guys are feeling about this video so that i can make any improvements if needed and thank you for watching the video let's meet up soon in the next video